Sure. Okay. Can I have a motion to approve the minutes nicely submitted by Council Council? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Mayor, anything other than the agenda item? Uh, nothing else to add. Uh, oh, I did have a question. Um, we uh, uh, I, uh, emailed the um, agendas out and all the budgets out. And I didn't know if any of the counselors, you know, the especially finance subcommittee, if you'd like a hard copy versus just electronic copy. I think I would like a hard copy. No, no problem. I'm going to try it with my laptop. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. Oh, so now I'm sticking You're going to need a laptop. Right it's a huge document. Really, yeah, it's a good laptop. Good for you. <laughs> so as of now, just one. I'm going to try electronic. Okay. Oh, sure. And then make just, me look bad. No, not bad. Ancient. So I'll do one. Oh, ouch. I'll do one and I'll also ask uh, Wednesday at the uh, council meeting if anybody else wants one. So okay. I'll, put, I'll do one. And Since you have to leave, I want to confirm with the counselors. You sent me an email. That's this guy here. Guys. May 17th at 5 is school human services debt and interest. We will have. Uh, superintendent here for that one yes and the um, director of business services and May 24th is public works enterprise culture and recreation we will have those yep. people here and the May 25th is public safety fire and police are mm -hmm. here they're okay. all very happy to attend so these are the Joe the I'm gonna announce these at okay. the meeting but I just want to confirm them today with the counselors okay. you're all set with those dates this mm -hmm. is for reviewing the budget Okay, let's get into the veterans assistance request. Look straight forward. I have one question. He says 75% of the expenditure is reimbursed by the state. That's true. 75% of this 65,000 is reimbursed? 75% of all funds that he expends. So, yep. that's pretty good. So the state gives us 75% of this money back. That's cool. I have a question. Maybe you can answer that. I have actually four. <laughs> sure. Um, I, since I'm kind of new, what what's the purpose behind South Hadley, Granby, and East Hampton? Do they work together as a three-town unit? We actually have, um, it, it's very unique. We actually have a veterans district, which is made up of East Hampton um, East Hampton, South Hadley, and Granby. And, um, and out of that, we share a veterans agent. We are his employer. Um, and John is our uh, veteran, John O'Connor, if you don't know him, he's our veterans agent. And we have him here in the afternoons from one to, you know, one to close. He's in South Hadley in the mornings. And then on Friday, he's all day in Granby. Okay. And uh, so he services the three communities and um, he, the, um, the district is represented by me for East Hampton, by a member of the Board of Selectmen uh, for uh, South Hadley and Granby. Okay. And we meet quarterly. Um, okay. And he provides us with quarterly caseloads. And uh, right now, uh, East Hampton's share of the veteran service, of a uh, veteran services agent, is uh, is a little higher than South Hadley's because it's based on the equal value. Um, equalized value. You know the equalized value. What's the little three little letters for that? EQV. EQV. <laughs> and um, it, it act, actually, at one time, South Hadley's was higher. Now ours is a little higher, but they're very close. So our fu our budget funding for this is two hundred seventy five thousand um, dollars. Or is that all in? I would you would have to look at we would have to look at what has been spent so far I can tell you you know I can pull out our budget book and tell you what was budgeted but obviously the 65 is above right. that as you know because it's in front of you and um, and he technically does and I should have called John with these questions actually. no that's perfectly fine, fine. Okay. that's perfectly fine and um, and John is um, he's He's, uh, he's extremely, he's very good with the veterans and he's really good at what he does. And, but the need has increased as you could well imagine. And it's not always the caseload, it's not always the amount of people, 
but um, it, you know, it could be the individual needs. Right. So it could be medical, dental, unfortunately burial, um, uh, all different uh, living, housing. And is, sorry. Go ahead. I should say, does medical health go come into that? Yes, like if they. I meant uh, mental health services. Well, what well, John does also, which is you know very interesting, is when they come in for services, he directly aligns them up with the VA, so that they so whatever services they're not getting from the VA, mm -hmm. they can get, or or if by any chance they need to apply for disability, mm -hmm. he assists them in that and provides them with any other type of state funding information that's available. So and it does go by your income. It's a, a um, he has a, a state computer in his office that you know he files on and everything is based exactly on your income so some you know get different benefits based on what you have or what you don't have so is the budget for this group then kind of a gap filler between the VA and whatever they might be able to afford themselves what th th our budget is based on John services here we East Hampton only it, East Hampton only so but it's Hampton Hampton only. The we are charged that we you know there is a a cut and dried amount that you know that we are charged and budgeted and then once John goes over the services that's where these come in okay you so know, John, you'll see John's <laughs> we estimate what his what he will be giving out mm -hmm. but there's also there's also an employee line for John personal sure. services line yeah. for John so I apologize for that's all questions. right and, and John is treated uh, he uh, he's not you know one of our employees here in East Hampton, he's you know an employee of the of uh, the council, and um, he you know we pay into his benefits, into his health insurance, so he is an employee, okay. but he's an employee of the district. So when when he's providing a service, he's essentially matching up veterans by need with either the VA if they haven't stopped there first or with a specific service when they come to him they come to him to get a service okay. and he provides that service he will you know check in to get you know he needs to get their um, their uh, 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 what do you call that form not the DD one he needs to get their veterans form that you know prove that they're a veteran and then whatever service they're requiring whatever they need it might be they just need some you know like a, a help with their with their with their apartment or help with medical benefits help with you know but wouldn't, like the, I said, wouldn't the VA be the first stop not always some of them might be getting some veterans benefits and if they are then what they're eligible through us is less okay. but so he is he is like he is also he serves here to provide the benefits that they come in and request okay based on their financial needs and but he also serves as a liaison so John's purpose is if they are not already set up somewhere else is to lead them down that yeah. path and he is extremely good at that oh perfect okay. you know so in other words to if if they have other alternatives to get them off their monthly um, payments through the cities and and maybe you have it there and we can connect after but uh, do you know how many vets or how many cases or 53 for um let me make sure I'm looking at his Hamptons. 53 for East Hampton in March. Um, so I'll kind of split up here. So you have 53 in East Hampton for March. This is where it's got it on here for February. But it, 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 you're welcome to, to view this. This has, you know, the amounts of money given out um, in March. And then it has February. Um, where the amount of people are on here for February and January, but the amounts are on here. And also what's uh, what's also attached here is South Hadley. South Hadley, and again, uh, this just proves what I was saying earlier. South Hadley has, uh, like in, for instance, the month of March, we had 53 cases in East Hampton and South Hadley had 46, but their dollar amount was higher than ours. So it just depends on what you know where they fall. For. And again, um, you're more than welcome to look at this. Uh, ordinary benefits, fuel, you know, doctors' visits, medications, hospitalizations, dental, miscellaneous. Okay. Okay. Would okay. you like to? I would actually. Would you like to view this? Feel free. All right. Thanks. 
Okay. And that's, um, we, I just received that at the quarterly meeting last Thursday. Okay. So it's fresh. Great. Thank you. You're just very welcome. To, thank you. Just to be clear, when John asks for this money, he needs the money for each East Hampton veterans. That's correct. Only. The, the budget that we supplied him, mm -hmm. besides paying his salary, part yep. of his salary and benefits, is to provide services for East Hampton. That's it. So when, he, is it a reimbursement thing or like he, he comes in and says, I've got to do this for this veteran and how, how is the funding mechanism so that he gets the money? I mean, is he, it a he reimbursement? Files, he files and it actually, they As actually checks come out monthly, uh, monthly to checks each veteran? come out to the veterans, yes. Okay, so you know because yep. the check, the veteran's name is mm -hmm. in East Hampton. Okay. Right, exactly. Occasionally he pays directly to landlords. Okay. Or directly to See, a lot of this is, is housing assistance, food assistance, right? It and can be anything. Yep, co pays and it, Yes. I would think, I, thought, I always thought every veteran who needed medical help had the VA. I didn't know. Uh, I think most of them do. And if for any reason, and, and again, if for any reason they don't, that the first connection he makes is, you know, here's your connection. He has a, a, a you know, person that he deals with right there at. Are widow benefits. Right at least. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. So they wouldn't necessarily be eligible for medical mm -hmm. under the VA because they're widows, not. Mm -hmm. And there might be somebody that's already getting uh, disability veterans benefits, but you know, is already is, is disabled, but needs more assistance. And again, it's based on what you're receiving as to what you get. And the money is that John gives out to the veterans is what comes back 75%. Wow, okay. Ann, Joe, you have any questions? Uh, this is cut and dry for me. We've got to help our veterans, and obviously, what really pleases me is the state gives us seventy-five percent of the budget back. So, uh, I'll take a motion to approve. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. This is already on a public hearing because you needed it done. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for that. The other items under continuing business, the independent transfers and supplemental appropriations, have all been dealt with, and we have. Public hearing scheduled. Do either of the counselors have any further discussion on any of those? Because we discussed them at the last meeting. I don't think so. Okay. All right. Then all we have left is stipends. Um, thank you. Joe Barber started off by giving us a listing of different. Um, she asked in her clerk's kind of group. Mm -hmm. So that's how we got all of these different uh, figures and Peg nicely put them all together. I'm surprised we didn't get Agawam, but maybe. So to be clear, counselors, if we approve any increase in a stipend, it does not go, uh, it, it, it does not hit the, the budget for two years. It's uh, right. the next term which is appropriate because otherwise people would be raising their salaries and getting them instantly. Yes. Um, the last time we met, I was on the finance committee and we made a plan to increase the mayor's salary last term. Um, and I have another paper she gave me, which where is it? It shows that the mayor's salary increased in 2006 to 60,000. I think it was 40 at that point. That was in 2000, 2004 was the year it happened. In 2006 it became active. 2008 it went to 65, but it was defeated. So it went to 70 in 2010, which was a four year wait, and 75 last year. So I, for one, do not feel the mayor's salary needs adjustment. Anybody on that? Nope. Denied. All right. The council salary only increased once since we've become a city, if I'm correct on that. And that was in 2008. So from 96 to 2008, it was $1,500. I'm pretty sure that's right. At that time, too, we increased the same time we increased the salary of the school committee to $900. What was that before? Okay. Remember, sorry. 
a lot on the other stipends we usually don't increase them unless we're asked um, Board of Assessors, Pu Board of Public Works, and the Board of Registers of Voters all have very small stipends. That's their monthly stipends. So um, I always thought, gee, why isn't planning or zoning on those? Because those are big time committees that might need it. But um, feeling has been since they haven't asked and since we're, they're happy to serve, why do it? The reason I'm considering the council salary is because we're paid for responsibility. And we are low compared to most cities and towns. Amesbury is like us. Population mm -hmm. And it's also 3,000. I could go either way on this. I mean, it's another two years to wait. I mean, 2008 was the last time. I'm sorry. Last time it was increased was 2008. Did so, you hear from any other city council? When they asked no, no I, I've tried uh, twice to get everybody here, especially JP, because he, we basically had to convince him not to deal with the council last time. He was on the council committee. I mean, he asked me yesterday for this, and I sent him a message. I thought he'd be here. Yeah, I thought he was coming too. Because he agreed we'll wait a term for council. I'm also not, I see that some of these, some of these cities have direct increases for the council president. Some of them even for, uh, um, what do you call, subcommittee chairs. Mm -hmm. I do not like that. I don't like that at all. Do you think we'll have any questions for the mayor? I don't. You we know where to them. find you. Yeah. <laughs> you said you had another meeting. It's yeah, like, I do. Is it so if, if you, it's all right. Sure. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Mayor. Thanks for. So we know, let's say we increased it by 1000 That's a budget hit of $9,000. If we increase the, let's say we increase the school committee by 500 that's a budget hit of 3000 So now we're at a $12,000 budget hit for the, that's where I'm at. I'm at maybe a thousand and maybe five hundred for the school committee. I'm so, I know you said it, but I forgot what was the last date we raised it. Two thousand eight. Those are the ordinances we would change. Two thousand eight was council, and it was only one time. Council ordinance was changed in a way, so it didn't really affect until two thousand ten. What does that say there? I have it here someplace. This is just mayor. I'm not positive on that deal. Uh, so the annual sub council shall be three thousand per member, effective January two, two thousand eight. So, so it has to be effective. It was two thousand six or seven when we decided it right, exactly. was improved in that previous term. So two thousand eight is eight years ago. Yeah, and improved. this wouldn't happen for two more years. Right. right. Well, a year and a half. So that would be 10. Years. Almost 10 years. Yeah. 10 years. I, I think that's... So 10 years is a long time to wait for a raise. I mean, I know, I know all of us are so budget conscious. But I think, it, in my opinion, becomes, you know, that I think that um, the amount of work we do is, is, is important to be compensated for. But I think as importantly, I want to make sure that the salary is something that would attract people who would, you know, who right. would want to serve in, and, uh, Well, I don't know about you guys, but when I first ran for office, I didn't even know that there was no. going to be a plan. Yeah. I wanted to serve. Yeah. I, no, exactly. I, I would think that's still the case. Yeah. I mean, they get a check now that's, well, I get 227 a month. That's nice. But I guess I, I guess that. I think we get paid for responsibility. Yeah. Really. Not how long it takes us to do a job, but responsibility. Yeah. It's a huge responsibility. Well, I think it's a combination. Well, okay. But, but I, guess, I think I guess that, that concept I was I think is more important for the mayor. I think, I think the mayor's salary always needs to be competitive so we attract 
level. Well, because she is a CEO and that's a full time exactly. job. So that that is probably we've already more. kind of decided that the mayor wouldn't be increased. JP, they, they were increased. She was increased to seventy five last term. So we're only debating it. Probably not going to do any stipends for the lower stipends assessors. I mean, you guys feel that we should change those? But they're not asking us to, and I, I never feel like we should do that unless we're asked. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of places. I think we debated the planning board, the zoning board last time. I mean, they have awesome responsibilities, but they like to serve. Mm -hmm. So the money might pay. I always like to use babysitting fees so that they can go to the. They have to have a higher babysitter. Mm -hmm. But a lot of those committees don't have anything. Worcester, Worcester has a huge population, and the mayor only gets thirty-four thousand. Is that because they have a? Yeah, they, have a city manager. they must have a city manager too. Yeah. And Tim Murray, he was the mayor. Was he the mayor? He was the mayor. He was the mayor. And it, yeah, and it's Correct. kind of a ceremonial yeah. job. I think it, as president, I think as president of the council, who serves as the as the as the mayor. Yeah, I think it's something like that. Or something like that. Sure. It's interesting so you, that school committee manages like 70% of the budget and they get a fraction of the stipends for most of these towns. I don't, you know, I don't remember why that is. Do you have an It's interesting. Well, they get. Brian Doan, I'm sorry. Okay. Why don't you pull up and see if we can both see it? That's a lot. Yeah. I mean, we were talking about managing. Oh I can see you do that right here. Well, um, I think Agawam is higher than us. They pay more to the council. Does anybody have any? I, I said 1,000. I just told a number of 1,500 for the school committee. That's what, and what does that do to the budget? Nine, $12,000 $12, next, not FY17, FY18. Or is it FY17? No, no, FY17 is this. FY8, FY19, because FY18 is next year. It has to, t it, half of it has to go into the budget in FY18 because January 1st is in the middle of a budget year. Would you have in here some? Would you have in here somewhere uh, health insurance benefits? I know Northampton uh, offers health insurance. We were, I only asked to get full time. Like, you know, they, they, get, they get full family plan. Who <laughs> does? The city councilors. Uh, and they're part time too. It's the, state, part -time. It the state plan. Is they get that? they get the, the same plan that we have, except that they I think they they're, they're, they're seventy five or eighty percent. Here's Northampton's sure. info. Yeah, they get ninety five hundred. Council at large get five hundred more. Don't pay, right. But it doesn't say anything about yeah, that. They, get, they, have, they have health insurance. That, that in and of itself is a benefit that's, that's probably worth a family plan somewhere between ten dollars and $12,000 a year, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have the exact figure. It's not five dollars or $6,000 worth of benefit. Having health insurance is a major benefit. According to the charter, our, as far as I remember, the council is not entitled to the charter committee originally had that. Yeah. Yeah. Originally, yeah. the school committee did have health insurance, but uh, that was taken also. So I don't know how many of these other communities offer these benefits, but I'm not surprised. If I think that would bring the salary in Northampton up to about twenty thousand dollars a year. So when you look at 20 versus 3, that's a huge, that's a huge difference. On their side, they have always have races for council. So and they always do. So there's they do because there's people are probably saying, hey, you know, I think I'll serve. Look at this. I get health care. I get health care. They, they get retirement benefits. Uh, they are de facto employees of the city. They are, in fact, yeah. So, I mean, that, that creates some level of interest, I think, that keeps the competition keen. It also, I think, offers folks of all social strata to have interest. I mean, if, if, if you're not doing relatively well, to go to work, I 
don't know how many hours you talked about hours. I'm sorry if I missed that. I think if you, I know I put in somewhere between around 15 hours a week on the council. Either meetings or reading about meetings or studying the state laws or seeing what we could do, mm -hmm. meeting with constituents. It's about $3.84 an hour, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. uh, at 10 hours a week, it's, it's about five sixty. Uh, in change, 567, I think. I, I, I don't look at it that way. Yeah. I look at it as I want to serve. And I, as I said, I, I, before I you came too. here, I, I was elected. I didn't even know we had a salary. Right. But so only what, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm saying, though, is that for someone who isn't, doesn't have another a good, decent job that can support themselves with, they're not going to look to this. And, and you want to have it as a place to work and serve. And you, I think you want to have people from all social strata consider running for the, for the council. If you don't offer a living wage, I don't, think, I don't think this is meant to be a living wage. I think this is meant to be... It's a living wage in Boston. I don't mean a living well, wage. Full -time. But if, if I mean, you look at time. it, at Can I have the, a half or a third the minimum wage, no, not one. the, the one that's so anyway, that's a, No, I, I said that, so I, I, I stand behind that. I think you want to have people who will... <clears throat> keep the interest of the city and be sharp to be able to keep East Hampton moving forward. So, and this is two years ago. I don't, so think, I would this, add to that. I don't think this salary is going to attract them to that. This salary is not going to attract well, them. You, no. What you're asking for, to me, would be a major increase, say 10 grand per, that's, oh my God, I'm going to run. Like it is in North Hampton. It's like $100,000. Right, and I don't agree with that because we're a small community. I, I don't think we're going to attract better people or more people to the city council because of the salary. I really don't think we are. Uh, the fact that there's a stipend is secondary to most everybody who's running, I think. It's my opinion. Um, but we should make an adjustment. I just don't want to make a major adjustment. I mean, I don't think that looks good. So. It would have to be a huge adjustment to get someone to run just for you. Yeah. Not <laughs> I think we need, we need to look at it as, as you don't want it to be a disincentive for somebody. I could go to work and but this earn, earn is ten dollars an hour, or I could go <laughs> work as a counselor. And I mean, three eighty. I, I got to tell you, I don't look at this as any sort of income generator. Like this is not uh, my retirement plan. This is a thing that I'm very interested in doing, much like you are, Dan. In that I want to be involved in the local government. Whether or not I'm paid zero, three thousand, or forty-five hundred, it's not material to me. Mm -hmm. And and anyone out there who would view this as a quote-unquote job, we're not employees of the city. We're not we're not employees of the city. So that's the difference. If they want to be an employee. They can. You know, I think raising it every ten years is appropriate. I really do. I mean, it took more than 10 years. It was 1996 that the city was adopted. It was 2008 when they got an increase. Um, I have no problem with that, but I, I don't think I'd vote for anything more than 1,000, maybe 1,500. Um, but again, it's not for two years, so the mayor, whoever the mayor is at that time, can make a budget adjustment. And I do think we need to raise school committee salary. They're dealing with, as Peg said, Tremendous responsibility. That's what I was going to say. If yeah. anything goes up, yeah. and then the city council does that, school leadership. Oh yeah, and I think they did the last time, same time. What are we doing? So you're suggesting a thousand and five hundred? It's my first. And what was it ten years ago? Do you know? Ten years ago, it was fifteen hundred. So we increased, we doubled it. I would be interested in evaluating what that lift would be, whether it be three, uh, to, what did we say, twelve thousand? I'm curious to know what that would percentage of the budget, the overall budget. Now I know that's a small number, but you know I wouldn't want us to be out of proportion. You know, I'm sure the budget, I don't know, I guess it hasn't come up. 
you need to look at it. The way I look at it is it's 10 years. That's $100 per year we were increasing the budget. I mean, that's a minimum. I, we, unfortunately, because we wait 10 years, it hits the budget heavy the first year. But it's a stable thing. Um, I don't know what to say because it's so many years in advance that you don't know where we're going to be. Right. The mayor's budget statement, I was so thrilled. School got everything they asked for. We are getting more people back. It's a totally positive budget this year, which makes me feel comfortable asking for something two years from now. Her message that came in the packet, I called her, I said, you're kidding. She was able to give the school committee the money that they asked for because they went through and did it by need. There was no cuts. There's no cuts this year. And police, fire, DPW are getting a man back. A person back. <laughs> so I, I, the budget is a positive message. Mm -hmm. if, if I read in that message, this will result in layoffs of 10 people here, or more teachers get, I'd be reluctant. And I think that's why we've kept the salary so I mean, We didn't do it last time because, because we were cutting teachers all right and left. Yeah. It was very, very difficult times. And the mayor we increased because we do need that CEO to be attractive to people to run. Yep. Although anybody can run. I mean, you don't have to have. But if somebody's like a businessman and wants to retire from a business and knows how to run a company and wants to be the mayor, then they have a good resume, okay. And seventy-five thousand isn't a bad salary. Yeah, you know, ours is still lower than most at seventy-five thousand. So, because of the budget message, I'm okay with increasing the salary. That's what. I'm what did you what, want? What, what, was, what was Barbara's? Not Barbara. The company clerk to the council's salary. We asked for it to increase yeah, this year. Because what to, to what? What was the level? Because last year I think we didn't. Right? We didn't. The not. mayor asked us not. Right. right. But I think we increased it this time fifty bucks. I don't okay. remember what. I don't remember. But so it was more. If I recall, it was more than the council salary. No, it's no, not. it's not. Not even close. Oh, three thousand. No. Three thousand. Hmm? No. What She gets a hundred dollars a meeting. Yeah, I mean, she gets, uh, $2,500 a year. Right. So she may be, is that, is that Six. what budget is that? That's the 16? 16, 15. 15, so it, so if we gave her the range, she's probably at three. She's probably at three or a little, a little more. So that's the range. I, I think that apples and oranges. She does a lot. She does a lot. That requires a certain skill level. And so what we increased. You don't, have, you don't have to have, to have any skills. <laughs> no, you don't. We increased. Skills in convincing people to vote for you. But those type of people were looking. <laughs> we increased, we increased from $100 a month to $120 a month. We increased from $65 a meeting to $75 a month. That was it. It amounts to $27,800. Again, because the budget message was good, I'm okay. I wouldn't want to do this in a year in which they're laying people off. But the, the budget, the increase we we're talking about with gay Park, that is that's in 2017. Budget. That's next. Right. That, that'll have to be so in this budget, budget. if she approved it. 16. Right? So there's even more than what you're. Yeah, but I. But think we don't know if the mayor approved it or not. We will know yeah. when we read the budget. But hers is next year. This is two years. Oh yeah. Because we can't vote ourselves an increase. We have to run for election. Exactly. Which is fair. Might keep some of our better counselors in general. Would it keep you? Four thousand dollars? JP, you don't do this I, job I, because I, of the no, money. I, I know you don't. I don't and in fact I don't think I can <laughs> initially. Because I love I, I love what I'm I love what I'm doing. It's a great job. It's exciting. You heck get to help folks in the in your community and make good decisions. All of those are good reasons, but I think I think we have to be up with the times. I think we're not back in the 1990s. But you're asking also for a change to the role of the city council. I mean, in terms of being a city employee. No, no, no. 
to get benefits. Just question it. He was just suggesting no, I was suggesting that they had had benefits. They get okay. benefits. Okay. I'm not suggesting that we do that. that, we do that. No, okay. I wasn't suggesting that we uh, give health insurance. We can't give health insurance, but we can pay a compensation that is relatively in conformance with what the market pays. And Stanton, I think it was a forward-looking community. Well, right now, Amesbury pays the market. same. They pay the, we, I don't know if you were here, but we are, I am deadly opposed to council president, five chairs of committees getting more money. I'm opposed to that, I'm mm -hmm. totally opposed to that. So in Amesbury, the council president <coughs> is 4,000, but <coughs> I don't know what the charters of Amesbury gives that person to do work. The council president is second in line to the mayor. Do you think it health insurance would be another <laughs> question to ask? Because that would make it about 13 to 15 pounds. I don't know. What but it's the only city that has... The only one that's, that's, equal, the only one that's equal to us, and there are 3,000. So I don't know what to say. Shall we do 1,000 for the council? I'm comfortable with that. Yeah, yeah. But I want to scoop in about 500. Let's make a motion. I'll make a motion that the, uh, the city council approve an increase for the next term of $1,000 for the city council to $4,000 and $500 for the school committee making their total $1,400. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. If you think it's too low, you can always try to convince the... Uh, I, didn't, I didn't say it was too low. I just was saying that I think at the existing rate, I think it, I it's a mistake. I, I well, I, I, I'm going to ask her to give me Agalon's money. To, I mean, <clears throat> I'm going to I'm going to bring this forward. I guess at the meeting. No, I'll wait two weeks to bring this forward. Because Joe, you're not going to be there. I'd like to do this when there's a lot of people. We have until December 31st to bring this forward, so there's no rush. And in the meantime, maybe we'll get Agalon. And I'll keep this on the agenda as continuing business. So we can change it to the next meeting. Agalon says, "Oh, we're the same." Population and they get five thousand. I'd like to hear from them. I'd like, to, you know, just. To, <coughs> but on the other hand, I don't want to go wild here. Twelve thousand dollars is a big hit. Is a hit to the budget. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of money. Okay. Okay. You okay. Now? I don't think we have anything else. Our next meeting is May eleventh. That's a regular meeting. We have stuff on the agenda. <coughs> That will require our attention to. Okay. And as a, that's that's the other ones. That's May the other one. right May 11th, and I'm going to keep those just to the budget unless there's an emergency appropriation. Okay. Because we have to get through those. So May 11th is a finance meeting, and then 17, 8, 17, 24, and 25 are budget meetings. Okay. Okay. Move we adjourn? Move. Oh. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. I just texted a friend who ran for city council in Agawan and she knows how much it is. Oh, yeah? But did she 